Hello, welcome back to another pet peeve video. I'm shooting this right after I shot a video that um, I loaded about a scam listing on eBay. I'll put a link below in case you haven't seen it. To me, that was an obvious scam, but some people may dispute and cross your finger for the buyer if that was a legit one. To me, the only way that I can think of that that listing can be legit is if that book was stolen. Yeah. <laughs> but a very highly sought after Silver Age key, well discussed in this hobby for the past two or three years, selling at a fifth or, or even bigger fraction of the value yeah to me my pet peeve is with people buying into obvious scam thinking that today is their lucky day there are people out there that will tell me oh you know it looked like a scam but the risk is worth it because the reward is so great there are risk and reward but then there are risk and zero reward situation. And to me, this is one of the situation and I get it, okay? We all take a gamble, but take a gamble when there is a chance of winning. That's the big difference in how I approach this hobby. Time wasted in dealing with dispute with eBay and PayPal or credit card company is, time, is less time hunting. Okay, I approach this this hobby a very efficient way. I talk about this. I don't even like to waste time driving. There are people out there that would spend hours driving all over the place to hunt down a book. Not me. Good luck to them. Okay, to me, spending two hours in a car driving to five different LCS in two hours, I'm pretty sure I can find a few good deals to flip on eBay that can net me hundreds of dollars. I don't need to dig through any long boxes and drive to five different LCS on a weekend to find anything, but that's me, efficient hunting. But at the same time, a big part of it is avoid scams. You know, I understand there are always new people in this hobby that are not aware how to spot scams. I get it. But you and I also know there are a lot of seasoned collectors, seasoned eBay buyers that keep falling into this trap because they think today is my lucky day. It's not, okay? <laughs> it is not. Um, and scam, Scammers goes away if no one bite into the scam and new scammer will surface. That's the way we are. Okay, that's the way the world is. There's always people out there trying to rip off other people. It's, it's sad, but that's the reality. For those that are in this hobby long enough, you remember three or four years ago, there were tons of scam listing from China. Um, all kind of keys, silver age, bronze age keys for insane price, like Hulk 181 for like a hundred bucks. Fantastic 448 for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, remember that? For those that remember, raise your hand. I talked about this. There are YouTubers that actually bought into that scam and warned people. Um, why do you fall into that trap in the first place? Hulk 181 for a hundred bucks, really? Yeah, it, 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 that's, not, that, that, that's not even in the realm of reasonable today, four years ago or 10 years ago. But those scammers went away because eventually people stopped buying into those scams or a combination of that and then eBay stopping those kind of listings. But now we still have scams listing like the one I discussed in that video. Why? 
because it is safe to buy cheap things not from China? Is that the reason? Other than today is my lucky day. So yes, scammers exist. Learn the rule of the road. My pet peeve is not with the new people. If you're new to this hobby and you get scammed, hopefully you learn the hard lesson and learn to spot scams. I'd be more than happy to answer questions. If you see a listings out there that you are concerned with, email me the listings. Other people have done that. I'd be more than happy to spend five seconds to tell you avoid. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes I will say, no, that look that looked like a legit listing. So I'd be more than happy to help out if anyone are concerned with any listing that they think could be a scam and a deal are too good to be true. Okay, and I promise that I will not buy the book from you ahead of you if that was a deal. Yes, people that email me listings that they want my opinion on deals or steals or grade, I have never bought anything out from under them. Okay, so I have some integrity uh, or a whole lot of that. I might be an a-hole, a blowhard, a loud mouth, but I try to do the right thing all the time. So please, people, okay? If you know something is a scam, if it smell bad, it look bad, just remind yourself, today is not your lucky day. And help others spotting scams whenever you can because that's how you get rid of scammers, okay? You, we're never going to get rid of scammers completely. We're never going to do that because it's always douchey dudes trying to rip people off. That's just the way people are. This hobby is filled with douchey dudes, right? So help each other out, okay? Try to help each other spot the scams, the obvious scams, and try not to think today is your lucky day. Bye-bye.